The trains were an active family with three busy children. As they finished dinner one evening, the children went upstairs to play. We thought they were playing hide and go seek and the, through the rooms, but they were really talking out by the window to friends and Max was trying to get uh, friends' attention down below in the, in the alleyway. I had heard something that sounded like a screen fall out of the window. I ran upstairs and saw my little Natalie looking out the window. So I pulled her aside and um, I looked out down the window and I saw Max on the ground. I heard him screaming, call 911. So I called 911 and I remember being uh, very loud and hysterical because um, it's all happening really quickly and screaming, you know, my son fell out a window and he, um, he has a head injury. Max was rushed to the hospital. Max's pediatrician, Dr. Bill Sears, met them there. He had a, a massive brain injury. He, had, he hit his head so hard that he had a lot of bleeding between the skull bone and the brain. And since the brain is like in a rigid box, when it bleeds, the blood can't go anywhere, so it compresses the brain. Doctors operated, but gave the trains very little hope for Max's recovery. He had finished the surgery, and he says, we're just going to have to watch him hour by hour and see what happens and see if he makes it. And I said, um, are you trying to tell me my son may not make it? He said, quite possibly. My nurse, in fact, uh, reminded me of what I said the day after Max's injury. She said, you came back to the office the next morning, and you said, if Max survives, it will be a miracle. Family and church members prayed for Max around the clock. After several days, doctors knew Max would live, but he was in a deep coma. The doctors pretty much said that there's a real good chance that he would be a vegetable, uh, that he would not be able to talk again, and that he would be fully paralyzed on his right side. Francis and I would pray together, and the, the prayer was the only place we really had to go in those really dark, really dark times. God is the only one that could handle what was going on. After only three weeks in the hospital, Max was moved to a rehab unit for another five weeks. Max had to learn to walk, talk, and function again. Today, Max is 12. His parents and doctors are amazed by his recovery. I think it was a miracle that he not only made it, but he made it so well. It's been really fun to, just to exercise, and it's been helping me get better. Because of the difficult times they face together, the trains, now with four children, have a new perspective on God's faithfulness. A great part of such a horrible tragedy is learning God's faithfulness and, and learning how to stand up in the face of, of challenges. He got me out of a wheelchair, out of a walker. He's out riding a bike, he's going to school. He's a miracle, a miracle in, the, in motion.